Pisces, this one is for you. Let's roll the dice on you. So we have an Aries that's coming up in your reading. We also have Libra. We have the number two and a five. It might be significant to you or 52, 25, however you want to look at it. And then we have the moon card or the moon planet as your element for your message and the energy that's here. So the moon element right here represents you expressing your purpose and your actions every single day or learning to express them through your emotions and your attitude. This is a general mood and you being able to adapt to your environment here. So this is going to be big for you. If you find yourself like you feel like you're out of control or emotionally you're overwhelmed, this moon energy is coming in to help relax you. We know that Cancer is ruled by moon and so this is representing stability of emotions and their highest vibrations cancers can be very stable and take on a lots of emotions and help people and nurture people so let's see what the reading is about so there's going to be something here for you pisces that requires you to take baby steps again you might be surrounded by a libra or a aries we know that those two signs are polar opposites of each other so it could bring you a lot of balance here. Let's see. Oops. The first card out is the moon card. How funny. You seen it flipped out. I told you I don't make this up. <laughs> the moon card is here um, because it represents Cancer's energy. We know that your whole mood is really controlled by the moon card here or by the moon energy. What am I saying? So the moon card is in your light energy because it is representing some type of complicated relationship that could possibly possibly be either romantic or someone that you really truly love. It's uncertainty about love or a relationship and where it's going to go. If this is in regards to career, it's uncertainty around your career, of course. Um, a lot of confusion around this job or the relationships within your job. You don't know who to trust, who has your back, or who is out for you, who or who is out to get you. If this is in regards to finances, something is unclear in regards to your financial situations or you making a financial decision. You're lacking in financial knowledge at this point. I feel like with this moon card being here, there's a lot of changes and a lot of uncertainty that that is really being expressed in your energy right now, Pisces. There could be a lot of lies too and dishon dishonesty, but you don't really know it yet. You could feel it subconsciously, um, but there are some, some secrets that need to be revealed, some changes that need to be made. And in your highest vibration, Pisces, we know that you are intuitive and insightful. So you feel like there is something going on. I'm gonna clarify this energy, see if anything else comes out. Wow. So the moon card has been clarified by another major arcana, the emperor. And we know that Aries is already in your, your energy with this Aries symbol. Aries does represent the emperor and the emperor also represents Taurus energy. So you could be surrounded by a Cancer, Taurus, or an Aries, or you could have this heavily in your chart, or it could just be the energy that is over this message here. Okay, so going back to the Emperor being under the moon card, there is a feeling of here that you want dominance here. Maybe there was a loss of a partner or a loss of sensuality, touching, feeling, emotions from a partner, attention. You lost that and you are really hurting over this. Now, you're really not showing this, but I feel like you're getting into that Pisces mood to where Pisces can be manipulative. Don't tell them I told you that, but they can be manipulative and you have an uncompromising attitude over everything that you are showing. So you could be showing that you're flexible and everything is fine, but deep down inside in your highest vibration, you know how to manipulate a situation to where it makes you, to where it makes a benefit for you. Like you could be manipulated by a Pisces and you are you don't even know that you're being manipulated. Ask anybody that's been in love with the Pisces. Ask them. They will tell you. Matter of fact, leave it in the comments. If this, if this is at work, you're being highly creative, but you 
again are hiding this creative side of you because Pisces know better than to be very boisterous and boisterous about what they are doing. They know how to keep secrets. Pisces have a lot of secrets and they can keep other people's secrets. So don't ever piss a Pisces off or don't ever make them your enemy or they will tell all your secrets if you betray them. But if you guys are still cool, your secrets are still safe. So again, this is a process of creating things in your in your career, being highly structured, disciplined, um, routine. You are a mentor. You're giving advice to other people. You are the leader, the head. That's what the emperor does. They draw people in and people listen to them. They respect them. You are heavily respected in this energy. If it's in regards to finances, you are being disciplined about money. So I feel like you're coming across with that Cancer's energy with the moon card. Like, you know, everything is fine. Everything is neutral. But underneath it all, there is a burning desire and you are about to show out. But nobody is going to see you coming because you're doing it so secretively. This feels like a slow progress for you. I, I feel like you're taking baby steps here and you're starting out small, but you know you're going to end big. Let's see what's in your shadow energy. The Knight of Wands. Woof. The Knight of Wands is you being fueled by passion here. So although you definitely are showing yourself being very neutral and contained and controlled, this Knight of Wands energy is in your shadow energy. So you have to be careful that you are not acting too courageous and too fearless when it comes to love or any other situations. Because sometimes you can be very reckless with your mouth in the way that you conduct business when your feelings and emotions are involved. So this is an energy here too of you being very, um, it's very difficult for you to commit because Pisces can be heavily indecisive. Um, you're kind of being erratic in relationships, perhaps because you have secrets and there's a lot going on. Other people might not understand why you're acting like this. So you, this is a sign for you to actually just chill out a little bit and, and really understand that you're not letting other people in. So if they don't understand the moves that you're making, it is, really not them trying to torment you it's maybe they're asking too many questions and it's getting you frustrated i hope that makes sense or maybe they're being overly judgmental because they don't know what you are doing because you haven't told them and it's probably not any of their business it's just that you know people are doing things that they naturally do and it's you could be kind of being reckless about responding Okay, if this is in regards to career, your passionate side is coming out, you're really overworking yourself, being energetic, and you're highly brave with your decisions. That is great for you, Pisces, because you're highly intuitive. The only thing with this energy is that we know Pisces will fight to the death for the people that they love. So the energy here is to take a step back. Don't become so brave over a situation to where you forget to use logic as well and forget the reasons why you are doing it. It's not just for one person. It's really for a bigger picture. If this is in regards to finances, you might see a sudden influx in money. Um, perhaps you'll be traveling and, and expanding on your horizons. But again, if you are really trying to hold things close to the vest, this will not be a good look for you. So your passionate side is in your shadow energy because sometimes you could be overly passionate, especially when it comes to people that you love um, and your ideas and things that you want for them. You have what you you need in this energy. You just have to take baby steps. There is no hurry. Drag your feet a little bit, okay? Things are coming together for you. You know it and don't let anybody else influence you to do differently. You have all the intuition you need inside of you. That is what I have for you.